Singapore's Infocom minister says traditional forms of media should not lose sight of their key strengths, even as they adapt to an online playing field. He was speaking to the Singapore Press Club today. Singapore's public sector has beefed up its online presence with more than 140 Facebook pages, YouTube and Twitter channels, as well as mobile applications. The latest to join the online platform, Singapore's Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong, with his own Facebook page. My sense is that it will evolve over time, but we cannot ignore the online media altogether and how do we engage it. Dr. Yaakov noted that Singapore's traditional media has a role to preserve social cohesion and empower audiences to make informed decisions. And this approach, he said, should extend online. Our major companies, which have established presence, can set the right tone online, as well as with good practices of information sharing and moderation on the various online platforms. We can encourage information and viewpoints that inform and evaluate and not disturb and divide. Dr. Jacob also adds that there's been a lot of discussion in the media and online platforms as to whether the government should come up and implement some form of internet code of conduct. The minister says he still believes that it is the larger internet community and not the government that should come to some form of understanding as to what online behaviour is acceptable and what is not. And that's where he said a light touch and a bottom-up approach will work. Also being looked at, laws governing the misuse of cyberspace. But there are cases of cyber stalking, cyber harassment, cyber abuse, uh, that really there's a bit of a gap there. And we're looking at how we can enact some legislation that will allow as you rightly pointed out, uh, reprieve for some of these people who have been abused. On the recent announcement by the Malaysian government that Singapore newspapers could possibly make its way across the causeway, Dr. Jacob said Singapore is looking at the situation carefully and will review its laws accordingly. Well, in the latest update from PM Lee, he says he takes netizens' views very seriously and has sent some of the feedback he's received on Facebook to various ministries to consider. He noted that users' posts have covered many issues of public concern, which are complex, long-term problems. He asked for patience and support to deal with them together. On a lighter note, Mr Lee said some people have been asking what he has for dinner. So he revealed that it's usually something simple. Rice, a couple of dishes, soup and lots of fruit. Mr Lee has got more than 35,000 likes since launching his page last Friday.